Hello and welcome, Paul here, and I am playing Warsword Conquest, a mod for Mountain Blade Warband, and this is my Witch Hunter playthrough. Now I can't actually help this guy. Yes, I can. There we go. Just needed to wait until we had 10% of health at least. We just got away from the High Elf King, the Phoenix King, the False Phoenix King. And we are now healing up. We took a bit of a beating there. That wasn't a good fight. But, um... We're on the right track. We have a lot of warrior priests. We've got to get them healed up. I, I think if I was to fight them, if he laid siege to anywhere, defending whatever he was sieging would be the way to go. I'm pretty confident we could, you know, defend it if necessary. So I'm thinking that's what we'll do. That is what we'll do. Now he's currently raiding that village. I wanted to continue on and take territory as we go. All of these lands are currently, you know, in our possession. I wonder, can I slip by here and go for copper? Copper, while the Phoenix King stays there. We barely did any damage to him, that's unfortunate. Uh, he's following me all the way from there, that's not good. That is not good. We need to, uh... Yeah, there we go. He's buggered off. That is not good at all. Yeah, I need to heal up if I'm going to decide to take him on. So, this is a place we'll be able to take. Unless it requires a siege tower. Nope. There we go. Nice and quick. We're going to get a bunch of people that we can put back into this place. A lot of prisoners. Let's do it. I don't want to wait around. I don't want to hang on. I just want to... Make some moves and take some territory. I don't have any rifle company here, so we're just gonna have to like go up. Try and take down a few of their gunners. Maybe that's the way to go. I mean, yeah, I could be up there. And yeah, I could be up there like slaying everyone on the battlements, but see if we can just punch a hole, I mean, ease up some of the damage that we're going to be taking as my troops push up. Of course, two ladders, they only ever use one. Yeah, we're overwhelming them. Oh, and then I just got shot in the face. Okay, well, fair enough. My warrior priests are working well, though. They will smash pretty much anyone. The reinforcements are weak. We should be good. Let's get um that tearing through them. Priests, because they got that hammer, they knock everyone unconscious. Now, I don't mind if one or two people go down as long as it's like the Empire Captains. What we can't afford is the Warrior Priests, because they are much, much harder to replace. There we go, get in there. I do love the armor these guys wear though, it looks amazing. There we go. Jobs are good and we're victorious. And, oh, Norse Raiders. Okay, so I need to go through here. We're gonna take the Empire troops as always. If only to just upgrade a little bit. But since we are going to take people to put into this castle, we look down here. Some of these won't be too good. Empire Swordsman, Blazing Sun Knight, 
sharpshooter witch hunters we haven't had witch hunters in a while so so much for actually having people to put in this place because everyone is too useful to leave all right we're not going to go with those we'll go with the humans but i haven't missed anyone have i just him and him all right i think this is what we'll do we'll take the raiders it's gonna be like they're gonna be uh put to work you know what i mean they're gonna stay here they're gonna defend this place that is their punishment so we'll just do our upgrades here which is fine Okay, we want to get rid of these guys. Give him them. Give him them. Crossbowmen. So we don't want people like the halberdiers. The swordsmen. Pistoliers. They're no good to me. Well, the pistoliers wouldn't be too bad since they are on horseback. Train militia I'm not sure about. So I'm just going to give them these. Crossbowmen can go. Let's give him those as well. I'm pretty sure I messed this up a little bit. In fact, I'll check that now. Okay, that's everyone. So, no, no, it's not notes. It's uh, reports for you troop trees. So, yeah, this is Empire Militia, Empire Train Militia, Empire Militia Cavalry. These guys are no good to me. Witch Hunters, I'm always going to take. Halberdiers are a dead end. So basically, the troops I want to train are always going to be these guys. Spearmen, Swordsmen, Veteran Swordsmen, Captain, Blazing Sun Knight, Rugs Guard Knights. Every time. That is the master plan. If you want to call it that. So, let me just quickly check. These places are currently okay. I have no doubt the High Elf leader will go after some of them. I need to heal up. I need my troops to heal up. Morale is average. We're going to keep pushing forward while we can. Maybe go for Lashik. Just trying to keep an eye on the messages here. Oh, already besieged. So someone was around this area. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Let's see if we can catch them out, defeat them. See, so this entire region is going to be all on me to handle. So one of my best bets might be to just wait here, let them lay siege to it. Then again, we have about an even battle, so... Ooh. He's passing by, that's good. Let's take him out before anyone else turns up. Just take him out. Okay. Let's say this once, surrender or die. We have an even fight. I'm gonna have everyone follow me. Look at that. They're gonna have the higher ground. We're gonna be going uphill. They're gonna turn away, so while they're turning away. Let's push forward. Everyone else is going in for the attack. We are going to strike from the side here. Just charge straight into them. There we go. See if I can take out the leader. His horse is gone. There we go. Disrupted their ranged. There we go. Broke their ranks.
It's all about the timing with these charges. If you end up messing it up and the majority of your troops get stuck somewhere beforehand, like on the cavalry that charged us, there's a very good chance that the people that did make it through will get stuck on the wall of infantry and then just get swarmed. It doesn't matter how strong they are, the chances are eventually they'll die to a thousand cuts, kind of thing. So I always got to be careful of that, at least in my opinion. But a couple of warrior priests die, it's not good. I consider a warrior priest the equivalent of losing like 20 troops, just because they're irreplaceable at this moment. Where I'm at, unless I like rescue them from castles, I have to wait to build them back up and I emptied out everywhere. So I really gotta make them last as I push through and conquer these lands. There we go, we smashed him pretty good. We're gonna do another charge. Cavalry can follow me, just keep them all together. They form that line. Okay, so these guys made the mistake of charging and then turning around. There's a lot of cavalry, so we're going to be getting clustered here as we take care of them. And here comes the infantry reinforcements, but thankfully we're breaking through. We can just make sure these guys don't get pulled off. Yes, we're fine. Let's see if I can do something about the reinforcements. This is where I wish I had my pistol. Just give him a blasting. Cleared up the rest. He's trying to aim at me. Was my fault. Well, no, I still got the hit in, but he dodged it, so. Well, it would have only been a very. very uh, light hit, a glancing hit, I guess. There we go. Perfect. I'm going to rescue these Norse raiders just because we can use them to put into a castle of some kind. Needed. So Kofa is safe. Let me just do one more quick check. Alright. Let's try and make our way to the Sheik. Now there was another guy that came by here. Just going to make sure he doesn't sneak by. Kofa is no longer under siege, that's what we like to see. Question is, is anyone defending Lashik? Yes, there is. So overall, Lashik is lightly defended with only 94 troops, a lot of prisoners. The biggest issue is that they have a lord with 300 troops. Now, I could try to cross over and deal with this castle. Go for the Sheik last. Might give us time for him to leave. Okay, this is another place with a lot of troops defending. So we could go in and try to fight it, the only problem is we're fighting a lot of people. We're fighting extra people, which we shouldn't have to. Now I do have... I do have my warrior priest, we might be able to pull it off. It just means we're going to take casualties. The alternative is that I go in there first with my troops and try to tear them up as we go in. See, we're still fighting over all this land that we keep losing. 
but as long as we're not losing anything more than this area, that's fine. I can take all of this and then maybe push over and start going after the, the Nippon colonies this side and we work our way around. Just check. Just make sure my lands are safe. I wish my boat was up here. Let's just see what kind of siege would it be. Prepare ladders. All right, let's do this one. Let's do this one. I'll take the chance. Lair of Cruelty has been besieged. This one... Oh, this one's... Uh... Oh, it's this one. This is the one where you've got to go inside. Oh, wait, no. Is this the one where we go around the back side? It is. It is, it is, it is. This was a very dangerous one. I don't know if we can get through the front gate. I'm pretty sure the front gate is blocked. The only alternative is to stop and kill off some of these guys. Got a couple there. If we can drop some of them, this might make our approach a bit easier. Take a little less damage, but they've got plenty of archers up there ready to take someone's spot. There we go. See, we're getting shot from like further at the back where I can't see. All right, let's keep going, let's keep going. We don't want to wait too long. Plus we're gonna have a lot more around this corner. A lot more. The sooner we climb up here, the better. Okay, let's have one to charge. I'm gonna have to get up and try and disrupt them, make it so my guys they're gonna be a bit slow climbing up here, so try and take them down as they pop up. one of these guys this guy here maybe I don't know I was just gonna just kill one more so I could jump up and go to the right and then just clear it but that is not good the only thing I can hope is that we just overwhelm quickly take the battlements and spread out and then we just win via elite troops we've just lost two warrior priests three warrior priests this isn't good this isn't good come on Come on, sort it out. Four warrior priests. So they're getting shot in the back by archers. Come on, 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 come on. There we go, there we go. Roll up now, roll up now. Roll up now, they're behind you. Go behind you. They have a lot of elites here, come on. And reinforcements are going to take absolutely ages. Wait, the front gate was open. Hey. Disaster. We should have gone for the front gate. So this is one of those things. I don't know. Do we just let it ride? Do we keep going? Or do we pull out? Our reinforcements have arrived. But my reinforcements won't come the way we need them to come. They're going to go all the way around during the time we're going to be whittled down. Finally, finally, someone with sense. I don't know if they can actually kill these guys. This guy at the back's pretty strong. 
maybe. <laughs> See what I mean? Yeah, we're losing this. Yet, but we just lost another warrior priest. Reinforcements. Oh god! Yeah, retreat. That was a disaster. Abandon the siege. Abandon the siege. Oh my god! Okay, let's heal up. We know what we do. We go through that front gate instead. Forget going around. That was a bad idea. It's the default for some reason, but we'll just go in and see if we can attack from behind. I just need some time to heal up, which isn't easy in these parts. So I think I'll make my way back just in case. If I head back, I can probably recruit from these villages as well. Morale is average. Sooner or later it's going to drop, which won't be good. Anyway, we'll continue this next time. Thank you for watching. Until then.